quickly format text, NanoCAD uses styles, and they work exactly the same way as styles do in word processing software. To define how a section of text looks like in NanoCAD, use the style command. On the ribbon, click annotate, and then click this tiny little arrow in the corner here to bring up the text style dialog box. Every drawing has one style defined by default, and you can see that it consists of the Arial font name, text that is displayed normally with a height of zero, and that has a special meaning that I'll explain soon, a width factor one, so it's neither wider nor narrower, and it's not at an angle. A height of zero means that NanoCAD will place the text at the height that you specify during the text or mtext command. When you specify a height for it, then the text will always take that height and you cannot specify it in the text commands. Creating a text style is kind of like creating a new layer. Open the text style dialog box with the style command and then click the add new style button. The new style copies the characteristics of the existing style. So we're going to change the name to Serif, change the font to Times New Roman. We'll make it italicized, give it a height of 15, and we'll make it just a little bit narrower. 0.85 is 85%, lets you squeeze 15% more text into the same space without losing readability. Now I'll double click here to make that the current text style and close the dialog box. I'll start the text command here and if you look down on the command line you'll see that because I specified a height of 15 units it does not ask me for the height just for the rotation angle which is zero. Back in the drawing area you can see the I-beam cursor is indicating how tall the text is. I'll start typing. And there's our text that is 15 units high, italicized, and in the Times Roman font. Now you can select the text and come over here to the text panel on the ribbon. Choose the other style and it changes its look as based on the style definition of the standard style. Once you place text with a specific text style, it doesn't have to remain that way. This drawing, for example, has lots and lots of text styles. And so any one that you choose, the text instantly changes. You can override the individual aspects of a piece of text. So here I'm going to select this text. Take a look at the properties palette. For example, I can change the color to blue. And I can come down here and change the text itself, change the justification. So there it's right justified. And you can always press Ctrl Z or to undo the last change. So here's the height, rotation. So it's put in uh, 15 degrees and now it's at an angle. Width factor 1.15 and now it's wider. Way down here are a couple of miscellaneous changes. So this option turns the text upside down. And this one runs it backwards. probably noticed the text jumping around as I was making changes to it. So for example, running it backwards, it went off the drawing area. What is that about? It's because of the insertion point. When you start entering text, the place where you start writing it is the insertion point. And when you select a piece of text, this blue grip tells you where the insertion point is. So when I make the text backward, it is then backward from the insertion point. When you change the justification, such as from left to right, insertion point remains the same. Text disappears off the edge because the text is right justified with respect to its insertion point. Let me change the justification to center. And once again, you see now the text is centered on that insertion point. So the insertion point plays an important role in how NanoCAD manipulates text. Let me point out one other oddity with justification. When I change from center to middle, 
The difference between center and middle is that the middle justification is here, top and bottom, left and right of the text. Thank you.